bummer. I forgot to tell you something really important in Lesson 1A. Actually, this is the whole reason I started planning Lesson 1A, is that Jay had a really good comment about um, when he was playing with a straight wrist, it was difficult to fret clean notes without muting the neighboring string. Um, and I want to make sure you know that when we do this exercise with a straight wrist, and when we uh, focus on playing this one note on this one string with our straight wrist, it's okay if uh, your finger is muting a string that's right next door. Actually, that's something my classical guitar teacher taught me um, early on is he just said, sometimes you just slap your finger down. Um, there are many times that you'll be playing notes where um, you intentionally mute a neighboring string. And there are many times um, when you don't need the neighboring string to ring. Uh, and sometimes you need to, you know, plop it down in such a way that you're going to be touching the neighboring string. So just focus on the one note and um, don't worry about if you're muting a neighboring string or not. Just what we're really focusing on is developing a habit of what this feels like to play with a straight wrist and if you get that one clean note then that's what we're going for. Let me show you a little something I play um, when I'm backing up my husband. He's the lead guitar guitarist when we play together. Um, actually if you're interested you could go to, ooh, I have to write it for you. It's Hamp, Hamp is short for Hampton, H-A-M-P. I'll write it for you. www.hamp and Janet.com. I think this song is one of the videos there. It's a little messy. www.hampandjanet.com. There's some videos there. And when I accompany him and he plays jazz, I usually play chords with three strings. <laughs> and the other strings are muted. And um, it sounds kind of like this. Three strings are ringing, the others are muted. Just an example of um, sometimes muting strings is a good thing. So, um, see you around and Thanks for being here. Bye.